Literally, I haven't been listening to the radio for like, I don't even know. It's never, whenever I turn on my car, the radio is not on. I listen to podcasts and stuff, but my brother took my little like adapter thing. And I don't know where it went. I think he gave it back to me, but I can't remember where it went. And me and Zoe are on an adventure because our house is up for sale. It's up for sale. If you're in the market for a house, you should buy my house. Where is it? So we have showings and we have to get leave the house that leaves me and Zoe to figure out what in the heck we're supposed to do with our time. Everything that I do is on a computer and on Wi Fi and requires electricity. And most places that have those things don't allow dogs. I'm not exactly sure why, but I decided to go to the old softball field. I haven't been here in forever. Yeah, Jorgensen is where I played softball for like the longest time. Like, I love softball. Softball is like my favorite. Actually, we was a pitcher, so I like. I pitched for a while, um, but yeah, this is where we played, and I don't know, it seemed secluded. I guess there's a guy mowing the lawn, but I, I guess I can deal with that. We were the Amory Warriors, which was red, a color I hated, and yeah, we were never very good, but we always had fun. <laughs> I think there's something important about visiting places like this, again, ugh, but also like very, very intense. This is kind of like, it's just bringing back a whole bunch of memories. Genuinely wondering why I wore this sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> went in this dugout that hopefully is a little cooler and hopefully no one decides to play catch today. Oh, there was a deer fly flying around my head. <laughs> You're breathing heavy. Oh, I completely forgot to bring her water. I, I don't even think about that. I, well, obviously, I, I wore a crew neck and it's like super hot. Can you hear her breathing? Oh. Okay, it's 1.30. It's supposed to start at 1.30, so we still have a solid hour left. Oh. Like I said, I I was a pitcher in softball and it wasn't that Zoe, Zoe, come here, come here, come and it wasn't that I was I wasn't like the best or I wasn't like that great or anything. Like I just I don't know. I just did it. I guess what I liked about it was I felt very in control. Like when you're the pitcher, you're kind of like in control of the game, honestly. Like you're the first thing that happens every game is the first pitch, you know? And I liked that. And I liked that I could control how, how things went, you know? Which also was stressful, and in a way, you know, it could be stressful if you were kind of having an off day, or, you know, if, you know, the batters were really good. But I liked that part of it. And things didn't normally stress me out. I normally, like, I felt pretty confident in, like, my, like, physical ability to, like, get it across the plate and get it in the strike zone. And then even when a walk happens, like, I remember, I remember just still feeling in control, just still feeling like, okay, like it just new batter. I think, I think in life, like we forget that we get a new batter, you know, when we mess up. Just because we make a mistake doesn't mean that there's a new opportunity coming, a new day, a new, you know, start. And I think, I think that's why I didn't get stressed out as a pitcher was because there was a new batter every single time. Like it seems like, you know, all it is about winning, but it really isn't. Like I said, our team, we never won. We literally lost like every single game, like all four years that I was there. I mean, not every single game, but like every single game. I learned so much and I, I know I'm a better person because I played softball, particularly pitching. And I think that's in life too. You're also in control of, you're in control of the pitch. You're in control of how you, how you throw things out there. You're in control of, you know, it to a point. Sometimes it rains. You know, sometimes, yeah, the batter is really good. You know, you don't have a supportive team around you, but but in the end, you get to throw the first pitch. You get to throw the pitch after that, and yeah, I, that's it. <laughs> that's all I have. What time is it? Not soon enough. Ugh. Okay, literally like five minutes has gone by. You come around it? Oh my gosh, come here Zoe. <laughs> no, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, here, come this way Zoe. Come this way. Yeah, there you go, come on. Come on, come over here, come on. I guess I can, oh, I can't. 
Okay, there we go. Good girl, you're smart. 